Hmm, I can almost see the um, slime biome from here. Yeah, some of them do hang low enough that you can see them. I'm also way high up in the mountain now. Oh, that'll do it too, yeah. 117 at the moment. Ah. And it's still above me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next time I see one of those, if I have enough dirt, I may go for it, because... Well, actually, there's one right there. So I could use the slime. Could I use the slime? I don't know, but there's a dungeon in these extreme hills. Yeah, I just found one, too, so... I'm starting to wonder if we wound up in the same direction. <laughs> that Is would it, be odd. Is there a patch of snow around your dungeon? Um, it doesn't appear so, no. Okay, then we are still in different places. Let's see. How far down is it? That's a ways down more than I thought. Nine free coal. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if I've mentioned it, but always check the uh, furnaces, because there will be coal in a lot of them in the uh, towers. Well, if I take up all the furnaces, I'll get the coal. True. Let's see, mushroom stew. Ah, another loaf of bread. Well, here's a dungeon tower right next to a big dark cave. Ah. Seems suitable somehow. It does. <laughs> With a baby zombie in it, damn. Oh, those things are pain. If only their hitbox was a little bit bigger. Seriously. They do a lot of damage, too. They do. Oh, yeah, I can take that with me. Uh, none of the rest of this looks necessary, so I'll just keep looking at it. Let's see, this seems to be a forest. Alright, what's in these chests? Projectile protection and breaking one. Not bad. Yeah. Some torches, too. Always can use more of those. Oh, yes. And the other chest has... What are those pants? Fire protection and unbreaking. Not bad. At least I'm getting a bit of a supply of bread out of it. Yeah. Backup food. Let's see, a desert to the north. Let me check that out. Got that dungeon marked off. Okay. Am I going the right way still? I am. Guess I'll yeah. head down into that swamp because it's a bit of a way over the hill again. Okay. Oh, that's dangerous. Usually is, but. Uh, ice next to a ravine. A little bit. I think this is a ravine and not a chunk load error, but. I can actually look down into it and see a mine sh the part of a mine shaft. Which still doesn't really answer the question one way or the other. No. It kind of uh, does because it's it doesn't like cut off along the sharp uh, sharp lines the way everything else here does. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of like a mine shaft balcony sitting out in the middle of this big pit. So that's sort of cool. Yeah. The, the the not cool part is where there's ice leading right up to the edge of the pit, so... So I'm thinking one goal we ought to have is to actually, like, completely take over one of those dungeons and turn it into a house. Sounds like a good idea. Because it's actually pretty well set up for living in already. Yeah. Minus the monster spawners. And the traps. And minus the internet connection again. At least that went a little bit longer this time, so... Slightly less irritation. But yeah, there is, I'm pretty sure, some kind of hideous boss monster at the bottom of the, of the uh, dungeon. I think I may have already lost you again. Yes, it certainly seems that way, so I guess that was uh, 
more a fluke than anything else that I lasted for like 15 minutes the last go. Okay. Let's see if kind I can of... make it over this hill before the internet gives out again. Oh, okay. It's not even a tall hill. Well, I'm I'm in town, so you just keep going, and if you drop out again, I'll sleep so uh, that you can come back to daytime. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> not too safe for me out here, though, if it gets too dark. That's true. Let's see. That looks like something down there, but I'm not sure what. Hmm. Looks like something artificial, but can't really tell. If I'm lucky, maybe it's something I can seal myself into at least. Hope so. If it's if you're lucky, well, that's it's a, a dungeon, but that's not what I was looking at on the map. Well, you can always hit the bed that's in the a, top real quick. Oh. I guess I was only just seeing the top corner of it. Yeah. Let's see if I can actually make it there. Okay. Although, actually, I'm going to hit that tower first, because bed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That would be a better idea. Yeah. I really do like how the towers are set up. That basically, if, you, if you're playing solo and you want to do the dungeon crawl, you can just live in the thing. Mm hmm Or otherwise, you can use it as a save point. Yeah. Basically, they all have a checkpoint built in. Mm-hmm. There we go. Mm. Now, where was I? Well, looting. I gotta check in on the furnaces before I leave. No, that was the wrong direction. So... Here we go. What's done? What needs more coal? Um, that looks like it'll be okay. There's a cow in this tower. Okay. Oh. Ought to be a law against that. Yeah. The Tower of Cow sounds sounds like some old PC game. Yeah, something, kinda. something eighties. The cow just parked itself between the furnace and the wall. Mm, of course. All right, village. Okay, put away that book. The fish. The... More aluminum. I'll keep the dirt. Oh yeah, I have iron gravel ore that needs cooked. There's a bunch of cows in the general area we are in. Mm. Oh, look at this! This town act. This is the weird thing. I saw it has uh, like part of a foundry in it. Like Interesting. This weird brick and everything. Hmm. I may teleport over there and take a look, because I am curious. Because that's actually fairly valuable, if I understand right. Probably so. Let me see that. Oh, and there come some flaming zombies out of the hole in the cliff. Oh, so they do. Yeah, I never saw a town with a foundry and feed the beast, so... Really? No. Or if so, Isvan got there first, but... Yes, this that is the... It. This is what we will need to be able to, uh... Founder. Yes, to make our own stencils and such, so... And to pour, and to pour new equipment from them. So... But not by putting that carrot in there, that, like I just did. Um, well, another iron pickaxe, that's useful. Yes. So... Should we leave it here or take it with us? Um... I don't know. I don't either. Oh well, mark it on the map and go from there. Oh, well, they'll still be here later. Yeah. Unless something blows it up. Which, so far, so good. Yeah. We, we've been astonishingly creeper-free as far as I've seen. Yeah, it's been mostly zombies. Ah, carrot. Skeleton Enderman. Yeah. Ah. Carrots. Ah. Mind if I grab these? Go for it, I got some bread on me. Okay. That ought to keep me for a while. Mm, probably don't need weed at the moment. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of a hassle. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, well, that was a drop. Okay, let me go back to where I was, which... Did you set a return waypoint? 
No, but I can, so I can just right click on a likely looking area and go uh, go there. You gotta just, you know, set the waypoint before you leave so you can come straight back. I should, yeah. But... Yeah. Oh well. I made it and I'm in. And I teleported into the ground. Interesting trick. Yes, so. Phew. I think I lost you again. Yes, but you can just care forever. The endless carrot. Ah! 